Nice to meet you. My name is Dr. Sean. I'm assuming you're here for the eye examination and vision assessment. Yeah, sounds awfully complicated, doesn't it? Very formal, but yeah. Basically, we're going to have a nice 20, 25 minute relaxing, mostly relaxing session. Okay, so take a deep breath, all three, and uh, just relax every muscle in your body. Okay, nothing's going to be difficult. Well, not for most people, I'm sure you're going to absolutely ace it. Yeah. And um, yeah, a lot of patients find it relaxing. They like the sound of my gloves, apparently. So. Okay, so I'll pop these on. I'm going to start with uh, the eye chart. Okay, I'm sure you've seen this uh, chart many, 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 many times before. One of our most famous pieces of kit. Yeah. Okay, what we're going to be doing just a moment then, just to uh, check in your visual acuity. Okay, we like to do that one eye at a time, all right? It's no good testing both eyes. Yeah, we need to test each eye individually. So get yourself nice and relaxed. And we will begin in a moment as soon as I've got his gloves on, which is taking an awful long time. Yes. You'd think by now we'd be good at putting these on. Some patients fall asleep on me. Is it? It's not hard to see why, is it? Okay. Okay. Right on. So. I'm going to point to a letter. Okay. I want you to tell me what that letter is. If you're not, you know, hundred percent sure, you can just give me a guess. Okay. So, yeah, it doesn't matter if you get it wrong, as long as you don't get too many wrong. And yeah, we've checked your records for your current uh, level of vision, so we know what your normal is, okay? If one's normal is different, of course. Uh, your normal is very different to most people's, I would say. So, um, yes, I'm going to point to the letter. I want you to tell me what that letter is. Okay, so. Uh, Rudolf, Rudolf, rather, will be uh, helping me today. Okay, so here we go then. I'm just going to take a step back here. We're going to do the bigger letters first. Okay, then we'll do the letters in the uh, middle area. All right, so there's nothing too difficult for you. Now, here's the trick. I need you to close one eye at a time. So, if you could close only your left eye for me first. Wonderful. Okay, read off the letter that I point to. Okay, the left eye closed at all times. Here we go. did really well. Okay, now I want to close over the right side. There we go. Thank you. Okay, and again, read off the letters at the point. Okay, here we go. Well done. Okay, so we'll take a step forward, arm length apart. And we're going to do the uh, letters in the middle section here. Again, I need you to close over your left side first, if you will. Okay, thank you. And here we go. Close over the on right for me. There we go, thank you. And here we go. Excellent. Good. Have a much and well deserved rest. Okay. For now. We'll test you again in a moment, but for now, rest. Can write a few notes here, okay? Uh, real issues, that's good. Okay, I'm going to be covering your eyes, okay? So I'm just going to be placing my hand just in front of your eyes, is that okay? Okay, yeah, I won't be making any contact with your eye, and, you know, cause any damage or anything like that, as long as you don't sort of sneeze or violently cough. So I'm placing my trust in you now. So what I'm going to be doing first of all is covering over your 
left eye, okay, on this side. And I want you to look at my nose and I want you to tell me if you can see my entire face, okay? So I'll ask you in a moment, all right? So covering your left eye. Okay, looking at my nose. Okay, and can you see my entire face or is some of it missing? Okay, that's fine. So we're gonna do the same on the right side now, okay? So I'm just gonna cover over the right side like so. If you can look at my nose and tell me if you can see my entire face or is some of it missing? Okay, that's fantastic. Yeah, an unusual test that, but uh, it's all uh, it's all good to know. Okay, so you're doing really, really well. Okay, so I'm properly uh, happy with what I'm seeing so far. Okay, you're doing really well. Okay. Good. All right. So next up, we're going to be doing a peripheral vision uh, test. Okay. So what's going to happen is uh, I'm going to be asking you in a moment to cover over one eye. And I'll be bringing in my fingers from the corners. And I want you to look at my nose and then I want you to tell me when you see my fingers into your cone of vision, all right? Sounds really complicated, but I'll run through it, it's pretty simple. Okay, so arms over part, that's fine. If you can cover over your uh, left eye for me first, I'm gonna cover my left as well. No, sorry, I've got that wrong. Yes, it is quite early in the morning. Let's start that one again. You cover your left, I cover my right. Doctors sometimes get it wrong as well. Human beings, most of us. So cover the left, I'll cover the right, and I want you to tell me when you see. So looking at my nose, that's the key at all times. Looking at my nose, tell me when you see my fingers with your left eye covered. Here we go. Okay, and again. Okay, we'll do the same again. So cover your left again, I'll cover my right. Tell me when you see them. Okay, fantastic. Now you know what I'm going to say next, don't you? You know what I'm going to say next. Yes. You need to cover over your right eye this time. If you would, please. And I'll cover my left. We'll do the same again. So tell me, look at my nose at all times. Tell me when you see my fingers. Okay. Good. And keep the left covered. Sorry, the right covered. Okay, look at my nose. And, okay, well done, yes, it is early. I probably need a little bit more caffeine, if I'm being honest. It's okay, I won't be doing any surgeries or anything like that. It's, yeah, they, they don't let me in the surgery room. Yeah. Okay, that's fine, everything's good then. I'll be checking your pupil responses in a moment, okay? For that, I'm gonna be needing to dim the lights in here, so it's gonna get nice and cozy and romantic. Is that okay with you? Okay. So I'll get my um, film scope ready first. Don't fancy doing that in the dark, or relative dark anyway. Okay, so you can uh, look at the pretty brain coloured lamp that we have here. Keep you entertained. So what I'm going to be asking you to do in a moment is just to focus on any point you like on the back wall here as I shine the light into your eye, okay? It's going to, so I'm going to be quite close with the um, ophthalmoscope, okay? So it is quite intrusive, but you can do this because I know you've done a lot worse than this. Yes, you've got this, okay? I believe in you. You've got this. All right, I've got to dim the light first, okay? I'll be back in a moment, don't worry. I won't be going far, it's just there. Seven or something like that. Right, so let me quickly make another note before we start. Okay, so, okay yeah, so if you could, um, we'll start with your left side, okay? So if you could just focus on a point 
on this side of the back wall and I'll be showing the bright light into your left eye in three, two, one, now. Keep looking at that point. That's wonderful, really well done. Yeah, blink a few times, it can be quite bright, can't it? Yeah. All right, so now, same again, but this time we're gonna be looking at your right. Okay, so if you could uh, pick a point anywhere on the back wall here, just keep looking at that for me, as I show the bright light to your right eye in three, two, one, now. And there we go, we are done for now. Good. Okay, in a moment I'm going to be testing with the light still dimmed uh, your uh, pupillary reflexes, okay? Uh, the consensual um, spot. Okay, so what we want to do is shine the light into one eye, make sure the uh, pupil is uh, dilating, and then we shine the light into the same eye, make sure the other eye is uh, dilating in a consensual manner, matching the eye with the light shone into. Yes, it's very complicated. Mm, I have a habit of overcomplicating things and making them sound vastly more, you know, complex than they need to be, but it's a, it's a skill, yeah. Right, so we need a light, I'm just going to quickly find my little, oh there it is, yes, sometimes I misplace things and, uh, yeah. Okay, now, for this test I need to uh, place my hand in front of your nose, possibly touching your nose, is that okay? Is that right? Yeah. Okay, fantastic. So all you have to do is just look wherever you want to. That's it. That's all you do. Just, just exist for the next few minutes. Yeah, but keep the eyes open. Okay. I can't check with your eyes closed. Okay. You got this. Here we go. So, so we're going to direct. Noting the pupil size changes as the light comes in on both eyes, checking all corners, good, checking one eye at a time, okay, good, okay, the consensual response from the right eye is uh, fine, okay, we're going to be checking on the other side to make sure the consensual response of the left eye is equally uh, as efficient, okay. Placing my right hand this time on your nose, okay, and again, just checking for the central response. So I've got the diarrhea and the consensual, everything's looking good. Direct, consensual, good, and one last check. Good. Okay, well done. Fantastic. Okay, I'm going to pop that back on again. There we go, totally not um, catching my glove in the switch there. It totally didn't happen just now. It totally hasn't happened before. Okay, good, everything's good. The consensual pupillary reflex and the uh, pupil responses, uh, including People's uh, shape and symmetry is all good, so we're going to be doing um, we're going to check for the relative afferent uh, pupillary uh, defect, RAPD as we call it. Yes. Okay, so basically all it is is a swinging light test from one eye to the other. Again, you just have to look open eyes and just look amazing like you do, which you can totally do because you already look amazing. So. Okay, so I'm going to be swinging the lights first of all from the right side into the left and back. And uh, we're going to continue this motion back and forth. Okay, a little bit closer now. Keep looking wherever you want to, it's fine, okay. Sorry, I'm totally not getting. took my eye off the light for a moment and poached in the eye. I'm very sorry. Do you need a moment? I'll give you a moment. Yeah, sorry about that. I would like to say that's the first time it's ever happened, but... Um, it's probably... Well, 
it's not, it's not counting after two dozen times. Yeah. Do you want me to wipe the crying? You're okay. Yeah, a few times, just wipe your hair. Okay, are you brave enough? Are you brave enough to allow me to attempt this a second time? I'm looking at the opposite eye from the light. There we go, that's what I was supposed to do, not poking the eye, I do apologise. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, it is actually very difficult to look at the eye without the light. It's like, it's like rubbing your tummy and patting your head at the same time. Oh, that's quite easy actually. Let's go up with another metaphor. Hmm. Okay, so the RAPD test is successful. Okay, everything's good. How are you feeling? Quite relaxed, apart from the eye poking. Okay, that's good. Alright, so we're going to do the accommodation uh, reflex. Okay, I'm going to use the Harold uh, Elf, uh, the red nose reindeer for this test. Okay, so first of all, we need to look at Rod Rudolph with his. Um, Is it the antlers? Who knows? Um, yeah, look at more Rudolph there, thank you. Uh, both eyes on Rudolph. And now pick a point anywhere on the back wall for me and look at that. Keep looking at that back point. Okay, now if you can look back at Rudolph. Yes, that's good. And follow Rudolph. There we go. Yes, he's quite cute, isn't he? Okay, now if you could pick another point anywhere on the back wall for me. Keep looking at that point. Keep looking at that point as I get extremely close to you. Good. And now look back at Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Yes, very good. Okay. Okay, and relax. Yes. Okay, I'd like to use uh, my tuning fork hammer for this test, a kind of random prop instrument type thing, yes. So. If you could look at the blue hammer ball. Very good. Now I need to ask you, do you see one or two balls? Okay, that's great. Now I'm going to be moving the ball up and down, left and right in an H pattern. I want you to follow it with your eyes and if you can, keep your head as still as possible. Okay. All right, so here we go then. So looking at the blue ball all times, follow it, keep your head still. Yeah, I'm just looking at both your eyes. Okay, just making sure they're tracking properly. There we go, wonderful. We do the same as I step on the other side. And again, if you could focus on the blue ball for me, just moving the eyes and not not the head. Okay, there we go. Good. Okay, again, just look at both the eyes. Very good. And there we are. Have a nice rest, and that's the end of that test. Okay, not too much more to go now. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get down to the canteen and uh, get myself a green tea, I think. Okay, so just a few notes here. Good. 
Well, I think we will end it on the red light uh, reflex, okay? So again, I'm gonna be needing to dim the lights, okay? Let me once again shine the light to your eyes. Uh, this time, I'm just gonna check my setting here. There we are, okay, so we're all ready to go. So I'm gonna pop this light off. We'll do the red eye reflex test, which is very similar to what we've done previously, and then we'll call it a day and go about your business. Okay, I hope you found it relaxing. Again, sorry about the whole eye poking business. Yeah, I'm totally not getting bored, or totally do not need any caffeine. So, with your permission, can I shine this light into your eyes? Good, okay, good. So, I'm going to be shining a bright light into your left eye in three, two, one, now. Okay, now we're finished, well done. And I'm going to be shining a bright light into your right eye in three, two, one, now. orange reflection in the pupil. Test. Everything was good. Okay. So yes, that is it. How was that? Yeah, not too bad. Okay, good. Glad to hear that. So, so um, yeah, I'm going to go for a little break now. And uh, it was a pleasure doing your eye assessment. Uh, yeah, hopefully we'll see you again soon because you've been an amazing patient and we want more patients like you to come through the doors. Yeah, because you're nice and sensible and well behaved and not at all in trouble. All right, well, all the best. Have a lovely rest of your day and uh, we'll see each other again, no doubt, in the 